Couldn't think of a game I wanted to play tonight that's not this, so we're doing this tonight. But I will say, this game is hard to drink and play, so I need to find... I, I was loving Tribes. I was loving Tribes, but... Yeah, we gotta, we gotta find another, like, drinking and chill game for the evenings. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome, Winnie. Hell yeah, dude. By the way, we need to defeat a bunch of turrets that are going to kick our ass now. Chivalry 2. Chivalry 2 is so much fun. This game is so ridiculous. We need, like, what is, like, the next Chivalry 2? How oh, the game has been out for so long. The next one. Oh, Fall Guys would be fun. Yeah. He's a fall guy. Let us not dawdle. I will endure. I have no idea how we're going to do this fight. Not a clue. No mercy to those who oppose Von Valancius. Okay. Especially since, like, three of the turrets get to go first. Um... Oh God. I'll make it happen. I'll see to it personally. That looks so funny. I love it. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Okay. Okay, they're like all right there. Great. Um. I am a navigator, not a servitor. <laughs> okay. What? Are, what are you doing? Okay. Do that. Um. Isn't this a job for the serfs? All right, here we go. Well, Ko gets to go. Okay. Um. Who, if not me? My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Bonnet. What happened to SOD? Uh, it just really wasn't for me, dude. I'll make it happen. Yeah. Didn't have the time. It's as good as done. All right, so what I want to do is a taunt. Victory is imminent. And then one of these. Indeed. Okay. This is gonna suck so much shit. Didn't even flinch. Oh my god! I feel the breath of Cylon ah! Hold on. Okay. Stay with us. Fine, this is fine. Oh, this is the heavy bolter chap. As the emperor commands, I act. Bring the bolter, the heavy bolter. <laughs> you do, my emperor. Oh, you gotta do better than zero. Their deflection is twelve. Oh, 
Oh my god. Um Faith without deeds. What do I even do? What do I even do against this? As the Emperor commands, I act. This is why I was chosen. Oh my god. You run, you die? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? It's dead. I can just Explore run there. Okay. I'll just chill on her Forward. corpse. Even my best grenade is going to do like nothing. My vow is to serve. That is so sad. That is so sad. I am very saddened. The old desire knows all. Comprehends all. Running by Neric override. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Running by Neric override. I'm going to do one to two damage. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. At your beck and call. Do my duty. It's so tiny. Lord Captain. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Oh my god, chat. Careful. Um, I don't even know where to get started with this. Like, no one does any damage. I guess we could do Cassia again. Cassia is doing the only damage from her, the movement. That's like, that's it. That's all she's doing. Um, I'll make it happen. I refuse. I am a navigator, not a servitor. If I may. Of the Emperor will be undone. <laughs> it's gonna do no damage. Um, I can try to hit a bunch to trigger a uh, do this. 
doubt is for the weak. Okay. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Request approved. Running by Eric Override. The melta gun could work here if you have one. I don't, but that's a great idea. Yeah. Minus 30% penalty to armor. My are not that Is that does that affect deflection at all? The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Um At your back and call. Victory is in gray hair, sure hand. Indeed. At your beck and call. Yeah. Another foe painted black. Okay. Me. Dude, freaking Cassius saving the the god dang day. As duty oh demands. my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Wow. 368 I'll XP. Always keep your eye on my the prize. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Lord Captain, the crew has been that was sent to the surface reports they have cleared the collapsed passages leading to the lower levels. After exploring the abandoned rooms, they discovered valuable cargo that has already been brought aboard. What was it? That's cool, but what was it? I'll see no valuable cargo. Anyway. Okay, let's take a look at our map. I hope you're aware there was a console on the side to turn the turrets off. What? Okay. <sighs> oh, Xerxes. Hey, Co. I'm about to become a dad the next few days. Just wanted to thank you in advance for the entertainment you have and continue to provide. I appreciate your attitude and game taste. Xerxes TV with a $10 tip. My dude, congratulations. Big congrats, buddy. Good luck. When the Lord Captain arrived on the bridge during the warp jump, he found the on-duty officers in a state of utter confusion. They claimed that they had been receiving orders from the bridge for several minutes, orders authorized by the road trader, but the Lord Captain had been absent. Curiously, the orders had been signed by the late Theodora Van Valencius. After thorough investigation, the tech priest attributed the strange incident to the whims of the machine spirits. Oh. Wait, we gotta do something. We gotta do something. This, I wanna see what this is. Pascal's inform me the system has encrypted data stored inside. I wish to know its contents. Without another word, the tech priest turned to the cogitator. He raises his hands and a prayer of Benaric code pours out of his Vox device. The servo motors in the bowels of the machine grow louder, its undulating hum responding to his chant. Numerical combinations run down the screen. Okay. The machine spirit has discovered numerous critical errors. The data is damaged. Registering an intact segment, the machine spirit has spoken. The words of Kava Gamma and Argonis hold certain data repositories. The mechanism is ready to provide the rogue trader with data keys that can unlock said repositories. What are those? 
That remains hidden. The encrypted data bank belonged to the esteemed Theodora Van Valencia. She was the only one who could have known about these repositories. Perhaps a former Engineer Prime could have known. How Messiah accept his code? If I were to propose a hypothesis, it would be most prudent of a figure as eminent as a rogue trader to store her classified data in receptacles most secure. How do I accept them? The gracious machine spirit is willing to transfer the data keys to the head of the House von Valencius by means of an elect do, a hypodermic needle tattoo augment. If you're ready to accept the keys, place your hand inside the servitor's mouth. Well, that's amazingly cool. Deeper than the servitor's dark gullet, unseen burning hot needles pierce your wrist, but as a sharp pain only lasts a moment. The elect do that has been planted inside your wrist should be enough to open the repository doors. I want to know more about the caches. The Omnissiah favors you. The machine spirit is willing to commence a calculation procedure that could restore the lost data. Tell me about the one located on Dargonis. The data has been restored, but it's only a single phrase. Litanies of the motive force. Hmm. What about the one on Kiapa Gamma? Blessed are the Omnissiah's deeds. The repository on Kiapa Gamma has a security system guarding it. The machine spirit has recovered a code that will allow you to disable the defenses. Great. Okay. Well, awesome. All right, man. Well, we're good. Well, that was freaking great. Kind of like you, chat. You're freaking great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The coordinates from the ship's log lead to an unremarkable star system. The auger crew reports that the arrays cannot register anything worthy of the Lord Captain's attention. Is this log entry some idea of a joke? Traces of a space battle. The cogitator screen highlights the shapes of several buildings. A small settlement, the only one on the planet, is a winter scale dynasty outpost. This is the outpost. After a lengthy descent to the planet, you're rewarded with a dismal sight. The entire outpost consists of long columns of uniform bunkhouses, machine hangers, and a large headquarters topped with a massive antenna of an ancient box caster. The binary suns hanging in the sky make every object cast two shadows, a spectacle you find vague, vaguely disturbing. The custodian and his people go out of their way to give the esteemed guest a proper reception, but their resources are scarce at best. Talk to the custodian. Custodia shares alarming news. The outpost is highly dependent on various deliveries from the core winter scale words, but two ships have already failed to arrive on schedule. The locals do not have an astropath of their own, so the custodian cannot determine the cause or delay. The outpost will soon run out of food, so the custodian sends an urgent request for provisions. He's begging for help, offering what little his settlement can have in exchange. Wow, just minus two provisions? Okay. Hey, they gave me a needle rifle. Oh. Okay. Oh, and some other stuff too. Nice. Thanks, bud. Retreat journey treats you to a rare and unexpected spectacle. An eclipse begins as one of the two local suns covers the other. You watch as the temperature drops the light, the lighting changes and the double shadows vanish. The two discs in the sky merge, forming a shimmering oval, then become one. Eventually, the fantastic event passes, leaving behind a vivid memory. Nice. Has the story been good? The story has been good, but most importantly, the writing has been fantastic. So just the way they present the areas, the dialogue, like it's it's uh, it's a joy. It's a joy to to play for sure. We haven't really, honestly, done too much of the main story yet, so. I feel like we're just getting started, basically. Come on. Gas. Sigh. Up. Oh. Huh. I need gas, dude. Give me some gas. The crew retreated to a truly impressive sight, a colossal storm on the gas giant's surface. The planet's dimensions in themselves were mind-boggling, and then it birthed a tempest, a storm to end all storms. As a Lord Captain and his officers observed it from a space distance through the bridge's huge viewing window, someone suggested giving it a name, and the Emperor's Wrath garnered the most votes. Some of the crew believe the storm to be an omen.
This is so cool. All right, let's see what the heck this traces of a space battle is. Lord Captain, there's evidence of a recent scuffle straight ahead of us. Throne, take me. That's not a frigate, but this is a gutted piece of metal. Wait, Throne, take me. This is not a frigate, but a gutted piece of metal. The culprits are here too. It's the Eldari freaks. I recognize their shiny metal asses, even from this distance. Except the Xenos are acting suspiciously. They're hovering in place and not even trying to run. Should we approach or open fire from a distance? Call off your people, Elentox. Something is wrong. The children of Assyrian are dismayed, but doing something like this is to a monk cave vessel. No, we are not animals. I appeal to your prudence and the promise you made. Do not destroy my kin. We've received a report from the Augur crew. The situation is unusable. unusual. The Xeno ship displays no biological or energetical signatures, even though it appears to be intact. According to the scanners, there's nobody on board. Our survivors are believed to be hiding in one of the compartments of the damaged vessel of the Imperium. Have acolytes of the machine cult identify the remains of the third vessel. I'm reporting the whole fragments belong to the Dukari race. Dispatch a rescue team. Our captain, the scouts managed to rescue several emaciated officers from the wrecked ship. Despite their wounds, they were able to tell us what had happened. During a patrol, the frigate discovered an Eldari ship crossing the system and decided to immediately attack the enemies of humanity. Xenos vessel proved too fast and skittish, but at one point the engines failed, giving the frigate a chance to attack. When the guns were aimed, several Dukari ships suddenly pounced from the darkness. At first they attacked from a distance, but soon boarded the frigate and wreaked a bloody massacre on the decks. It is only by sheer miracle that the surviving officers managed to escape, locking themselves up in a hidden technical compartment the Xenos had no use for. Survivors claim that the Xenos conspired and deliberately led the ship into a trap where it met its doom. The Xenos joined forces to initiate to eliminate a vessel of the Imperium. Hmm. How blind are the monkey to the vices of their own kind? Humans attack a ship of the children of Assyrian sailing peacefully by, but it's my kin's people who are to blame? No, my kind would not butcher the dark ones of their own volition and then abandon their ship. Something else happens, something I'm afraid to even consider. Send a shuttle with scouts to investigate the Xeno ship. Captain, the scouts confirmed our early report. The Xeno ship is intact. Many valuable artifacts have been found inside, but neither the Eldari nor their bodies were discovered. We are late again. Oh, damn. What is going on, Chirp? Wait, seriously? I can't, I can't go to either of these places? Oh, unidentified Imperial Void Ship. Oh, what's this? Why is that yellow? Man, more plasteel. This stuff is everywhere. Have you checked your call to me management screen? Oh, yeah. We got some more stuff to do. Okay. Who left this here? New rumor. Oh, man. Grantis. Xenotech. Sure, let's get some Xenotech. It's pretty rare. Uh, we need a new project here. I think we're going to wait for Cemetery of the Faithful. Need more Drusian stuff here. Yep. For Janus, we're waiting to do... Uh, I think a cure for sloth. We need chemicals on this one. And... We also want to do this one, but we need mechanisms. 
And then for this one. Uh, we're going to do... Oh, we can do this one now, actually. We got enough people. Yeah. Get that one going. And we're waiting to do... This is the big one we want to do, but we need Prometheum. I've been looking everywhere for it. I cannot find it. Let's go see what this is. The ship, the Scarlet Pursuer, helmed by Demir Shani, has football listed as its home port. The message hints transparently at a connection with the Kasbalikan mission. The Boxmaster, as a captain, has a proposal for you. What's up? The ship will let you know it will readily reward you for any information about the burning worlds in the Coronas Expanse. Why are they looking for burning worlds? Okay. Mag Mago Pascal expresses a keen interest in burning worlds and asks the Lord Captain to take the issue into consideration. Jadari immediately declare declares that Captain Shani would never dash about the void out of scholarly curiosity, but only for a suitable high return. Hmm. Let them know you have no current information on burning worlds, but are willing to sell any you may obtain in the future. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Huh. Destroyed ship. Is this a tarp? No, it's not. That's nice. No tarp. More Xenotech. Okay. We're going to get all the Xenotech, apparently. Ooh. Ash World. Okay. <gasps> Prometheum! Distressing. 